Spain 2019. Awesome, brother. Cheers, mate. All right, man, how's it going? Not bad yourself. Yeah, very well, thanks. Yo, oh, Pete, how's it going, mate? All right, mate, is that your outside? That's me outside the front, mate. All right, give us 10 minutes, pal. I'll be with you. I'll be in a blue transit minibus. Blue transit minibus, all right. You're going to go into the car park? Yeah. No, just on the front where the taxis are, I'll pull Yeah. Where the roundabout is, sort of thing. Yeah, no worries, yeah, out, out by the taxi rank. Yeah, you the best. All right, mate, I'll be sitting out the front. Right, uh, yeah, yeah. See you in a minute. I'll be about 10 minutes. No bother. Bye bye. Bye bye. Hey then, guys. Let's see. This is Rona. Hi, Roman. Hi, Savannah. Got all your hands, so probably the best not to shake me. Do you want to call it or dog? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Just do that. Nice to be here. Oh, mate. Feels so surreal being back, man. It's been three years since I left. Well, went to make an end of season. I know, mate. I know. <laughs> Hope it's ready. <laughs> I know I am. There's some half decent fish coming out, to be honest. Yeah, I've been like keeping up to date with all the cat, cat master fish, your fish, and Alex's fish as well. So like, I've been trying to keep an eye out. But yeah, it seems like there's a few sort of 150 plus coming out at the moment and stuff, isn't mm -hmm. there? So there, mate. thinking about going on to the spit. The fella on there at the very end, I think he's leaving shortly. He's, he's been getting some decent fish. It's warm on the spit, like, but you know what I mean. Right, it's gonna be hot. No, I'm sure you'll get fish, mate. Definitely. I've got two weeks in my day. It's been a shocker. <laughs> Castle. It's always the summit line there. Yeah, it's the home. Knowing the home. Doesn't happen too much now, mate, but I used to drive down here. Yeah. And I sit in that to mind you I was getting close. Yeah. My adrenaline. Yeah. And the hair used to stick up on the back of my neck. That's what I'm feeling right now. I know what you're feeling yeah. right now. My adrenaline used to shoot up there, stick it up, and I couldn't wait to get to the kebab shop <laughs> for a pint of sangria. Yeah. Just, to, just to kick in. Absolutely, mate. Absolutely. the apartment got an absolute banger that Pete's managed to sort me out literally couldn't be happier got massive kitchen out onto a banging balcony overlooking Wembley into the living room aircon absolute essential massive telly into my room nice blinds whole shebang Literally can't believe I'm back in Mequilenza. It's been three years. Last time I was here, I was working for Cat Masters. Final fish I caught was a 120 estimated. Final wade was a 185, eight foot four. Can't believe I'm back. Ready for some more big fish. Two weeks. Oh, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be big. It's gonna be wild.
Let's catch some fish. Fish and trips, baby. Woo. So I'm gonna show you how I do my basic cat can set up. So start off with the snap swivel. This is a 1-0, simple as it comes, cat rigs. So first on snap swivel to a bead, tiny little yellow bead. To another snap swivel. To another hard plastic yellow bead. To a soft squidgy black bead. And you got a bit of, so there's that 10 mil bore plastic piping, again soft. Down to a size one swivel. Tied on with the plume nut. Make a loop, granny knot, back over the swivel, and just slowly sort of tease it all. Trim the tag end, but make sure you leave about a finger's width in tail, because the knot will, might slightly slip. So if you don't have that little tag, it will just come undone. So it's worth just leaving it there. And you pull the black piping over the first eye of the swivel. So you have it like that. You clip the lead onto these two, and then you rig from there. So this is a cat rig I tied earlier. It's a 1-0 hook with a loop hair rig, which has a slightly lighter type of uh, braid, which gives the bait a bit more mobility. And you've got four foot or 200 pound Dyneema for the hook link. Um, you need the strength of this because firstly the fish tend to chafe because the hook goes in usually just under the first pad so it gets completely chafed away so always keep an eye on that once you catch a fish and uh, yeah the strength is mainly for the boulders and all the rest of the stuff that's in, in the segre so a bit of tubing The idea of the tubing is once you chuck it in, it gives it a little kick out away from the lead. And so that's it. It's a cat rig, a one pound lead. Actually, it might be two pounds, but heavy leads. And you put both clips through it. Look, and that is your Ebro pellet cat rig. Let's go.
push just a bit. So I just got my rod back out after losing that fish. Um, just put it on a new spot. So I found a little sort of plateau. Whilst I was scouting for a new spot this morning after um, the baited area being unproductive. Um, so yeah, so that's two fish I've lost today. I lost one off the baited area, but it was only a 40 pound kitten. Um, I think um, there's a video of the take on that. Um, but yeah, not not a very big fish, but I would have liked to go off the mark. I was at about 9:30, and uh, yeah, I just lost one. Uh, it's now 2:30, and I just got the rod back out, so about two o'clock. On the new spot, felt like a bigger fish. Took some drag, um, got the heart going, um, but another hook pull. So decided to tie up two new rigs, new hooks, sharpened um, to take any elimination of. Uh, Bunt hooks or anything like that, but I've been sharpening them before they go out. But they have just been unlucky in hooking them in the pads, or or just not hooking them at all. To be honest, I think the strikes have been pretty firm, but yeah, no fish landed. But it's been a good. I think I've been fishing for 18 hours now, um, but good signs that the two areas are now producing fish. So a bite off each. So wait for prime time tonight, and hopefully. Get to land that big fish. Fingers crossed. So it's the morning of day three. Uh, managed to catch myself 31 pound carp last night on a cat rod. Uh, not really what we're after, but good to finally get a fish on the bank. Lost two other fish yesterday. Uh, definite catfish. The first one I saw in the margins and the hook pulled, and the second one was a good solid take. Um, I banged into it, I reeled down, hit into it, had a bit of a scrap, took some line, and then hook pulled. So it's two cats lost, one carp caught, but the spots are producing, which is good. So, as I said, we're in the morning of day three, rods are back out. Hoping for a similar day today, if not better. Um, be good to get a cat on board. I'm quite surprised it's taken me this long, but two messed up opportunities yesterday. Um, can't really blame anyone other than myself. So we've got um, two new rigs out, uh, fresh hooks, sharpened. So not really any chance of a hook pull tonight. So 
fingers crossed for a good day today. Get myself off the mark, hopefully with a hundred pound catfish. Anyway, see how we get on. Let's go. One, six, eight. <laughs> One six eight. Yeah.